Good, Pretty good bad. one. Oh, oh, you got a bunch. You got a bunch. Oh, we got something crazy. This is something. I don't know what to do with my hands. <laughs> <laughs> Ain't no way. Ain't no way. That is how you catch a quail. So we just pulled up to the very first spot. We're actually gonna be throwing in those cast nets to see what is in this nasty mud pit water. And potentially whatever we catch, we're gonna clean and cook. But you will not believe how we got here. I believe. I, I believe. Float. The Yeti bag's now floating in my feet. Are we? <laughs> we, we only have one side by side, by the way. So. It's all right. We got to win. Oh, okay. Time to win. Should I? I I'm going to get out. I feel a lot safer outside of the vehicle. You might be careful if you get out because you just sink in the mud. <laughs> There's really? mud up here, seriously. Really? Seriously. Okay. Maybe stay in. All right. See what we're working with. We got the old winch going right there. B. Oh my God. B's helping pull this out. <laughs> I'm gonna stay my happy butt in the old side by side, but this is what we're working with. We got water all the way Deep. to the seat. How you feel about it? I feel good. We're winching out right now. Oh yeah, we're good. Yeah! All right, we have pulled up to the very first location where we're gonna be tossing in the cast nets and seeing what are in these mud pits. So when, you walk, when you're walking around these water holes, there's definitely movement in the water, but it's so murky and so muddy that you can't tell exactly what's in there. So the reason that these mud pits have fish in them is because for about four months out of the year during the rainy season, this whole area turns into basically like a river. And when it starts to dry up, these deeper pockets keep water in them and keep the fish that were in the so-called river. All right, two things that's pretty interesting. One, look how tiny this puddle is. Okay. <laughs> how deep is it? Go I don't know how deep it is, but there are minnows on the top of it, and check this out. A raccoon literally just walked out of here. Look, it's, you can see where the water trail was, <laughs> and it walked all the way over there. So like probably when we pulled up, raccoon bounced. He was like, okay, people are here. He was out here fishing too. So me and B are gonna be teaming up. We're gonna yes. be taking Brandon's cast nets, throwing them in tiny mud pits like this, and the big mud pits that all these can-ams, off-road, swamp eat monster buggies, trucks, bro. they eat monster trucks, but yeah. also hold, potentially, we're hoping, big fish. I mean, there's definitely a lot of swirling going on. <laughs> so, we have two cast nets. We've got this one, and we've got one a little bit smaller than this. And Tristan, since you're not a true Floridian, and you don't really know how to throw a cast net, I'm going to have to teach you. The good news is, normally when you suck at throwing cast nets, the fish just take off and they leave the whole area because it's super loud. But these fish can't go anywhere. So even if you suck at throwing, you'll probably still catch something. Me and Brandon are gonna have the two cast nets. He's gonna show me how to use it because I've never been successful with using a cast net. And if we are able to catch some smaller fish with the cast net, we'll be able to cut those guys up, put them on the catfish noodles, set them out in different locations and see what we can catch that way. Hopefully there's some good fish in these mud pits, but it would be pretty cool if we could get like a catfish or tilapia or maybe even like a gar or something. He's gonna give me a good old Florida boy demonstration real quick of how to throw the cast net. Now, I ain't throwing been cast net a long time now. <laughs> so if I mix this up, don't you judge me, boy. I believe in you. I don't. All right, you ready? Yep. 
All right, I threw a banana. That's called a banana. You see how it's shaped like a banana? So you want to get the, this thing up here, and you want to yank it to get it closed. And then sometimes you get a big old fish, you can feel the thump. Anything? Oh, you got something! Oh, oh, You oh, really did! Oh, you shoot! Really... Oh, you got two! Oh, shoot! Oh. Look at this! Oh, my God! Look at this what is that? Guy. This is a baby catfish. Is it? It's a baby! Dude, that's sick. Hold on, check this out. First throw. We got two baby catfish. First cast. We could just fry those guys up, turn them in little tater chips. Yeah. <laughs> I've never seen a catfish like this. Oh, no, no, He's no, gone, no. he's gone. Oh, you got him, you got him. I got him. I got it, you dirty dog. You freaking back out of the way. And just caught two fit, little catfish, which is really cool. I have no idea what I'm doing, but I saw him do it one time, so I'm going to try to replicate what he just did. See how it goes. Ooh, ooh. That's gritty. Literally, he's in the gritty right now. I don't know. Does this look right? Is this the right technique? Not at all. Not even close. <laughs> you want to give them a run through? No, we're just going to try. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. This is nowhere near right. I feel like I could. Was it, was it even, it wasn't bad. Nothing. Yeah, I don't think I was even close and I just got a whole freaking mouth full of dirt. <laughs> Well, I just tasted what the uh, catch, clean, and cook's gonna taste like. Here's my uh, handy dandy cast net. It's brand new, so that means I'm gonna mess something up. And it's got it. Oh wow! Look at that little handle. Cast net number two. I'm gonna go deep. Well, you gotta teach me. Oh yeah. Beautiful. Now take a piece of this and enjoy the fact that it's not gonna be dirty. Put it in your mouth. Like that or like? I normally do the rope. Oh, that one's gritty. And then I grab. I grab like right here-ish. Okay. So it's this is kind of open, and now we're at the same point together. Okay. See? So this is kind of the technique. Uh, you just really grind it here. Uh -huh. Okay. You're gonna get some momentum. So back up. Oh, I got momento. So you go here. Momentum. Up. There you go. And you spin. Oh, that was going. Finesse it. Yeah. So that was then, good. Okay. Finesse. Uh, hold on, hold on, hold on. My net's in the water. My okay. net's in the water still. I'm right, just getting. I'm getting the technique. There you go. Let's see what we got. Probably just a bunch of mud. Oh, we got another golden. Oh, we got a bluegill. Dude, we got a bluegill. Little baby bluegill. Oh, 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 like three oh. Four fish. oh. Oh, my God. They're everywhere. We're going to go for my first throw. See how it goes. I'm going to go out a little bit deeper. Here we go. Forgot to let go of my teeth. Oh. But it was good. It wasn't bad. What the heck? You didn't, you didn't get, I didn't get nothing. All right, we got the technique. I think I got it. There's definitely some bigger fish in here, so I'm gonna throw the old GoPro on and hopefully get us a big one. Yeah! I don't know. <laughs> Yeah. Heck yeah. Where's he at? Yeah, baby. Oh, I got a baby tilapia. You do. I got a baby tilapia. You do? Yeah. Wow, so we got tilapia Oh my gosh, all right, first fish. Got a baby tilapia. Hold on, I'm coming. Oh no, I got lost. Oh, no. <laughs> Dang it, man. All right. One baby tilapia. I tried to put him away, but he got away. Ah, I got something. All right, I'm going to take my net over to B. All right, you want to see my fish? Oh, I got a decent sized one. Yeah, you do. Look at that. Oh, you got a little. Oh, baby tilapia. Is that a baby that's tilapia? A baby tilapia. I caught another one. Dude, that's cool. Woo. That's a new species. All right, we got two catfish. Look at this. Three, two catfish and a baby tilapia. Whoa. All right, our mini live well, Brandon has absolutely stacked it full. <laughs> now we got all different kinds of fish in here. First off, we got one baby tilapia. I actually caught two of these guys. Brandon <laughs> caught the biggest catfish so far. Do you, do you know what kind of catfish these are? I would call him a mud puppet catfish. <laughs> and then we have a few brim and some other, one other type of catfish in here. So we're gonna release them and then get back to throwing. Maybe go to another pit, another little mud pit. 
That's pretty good for the very first hole. Yep. All right, we can take the tilapia out. Everything else has to be released. I'm gonna just set them and let them swim off. Just there you go. I, I think it's time to move on, maybe to another I'm hole. Pretty sure. I almost forgot the two tilapia that we caught. We can use them for bait on the old catfish noodles. So we're gonna keep those guys, let the other ones go, and then hopefully catch something pretty cool. We're about to load back up the old Honda, the old unit and head to the next spot, throw out them noodles with them tilapias on it, and hopefully catch something good. Something delectable. Something that we could even potentially eat. Maybe, or maybe not. Maybe just catch some more tiny little mud puppies. <laughs> all there's left to do is pack up all the gear in the unit, rip around on some trails and have a blast. Here we go. <laughs> So the bridge behind me is used by all the side-by-sides, the four-wheelers, pretty much anything that wants to get across this river because it is a little too deep. But in that case, we got the catfish noodles. If you don't know how this works, it's basically a noodle that floats on top of the water. It has two hooks attached to it. We're going to hook the tilapia that we caught from the other mud pit, throw it next to this bridge, and wait. We're going to put out a few noodles up and down this river system in hopes to find something good. Now this river runs all the way down to Lake Kissimmee. Big bass, gar, carp, catfish, whatever. Here we go. The old catfish rig is set up, the old catfish noodle. This guy's just gonna sit just like this on top of the water. If we catch a fish, it'll go like this. And then I don't know how we're gonna get him because there's gators in here. Brandon doesn't think I'm catching a fish, but we're gonna get this guy set out. We're gonna set up another catfish rig and then throw the old cast net in this area because there was a lot of movement. Hey, well, let me is... ask you this. How are you gonna get that noodle? All right, we are up on the bridge. Catfish noodle number one is set out. And there's a lot of movement in the water, so we can cast net over here, try to catch some more bait and or some bigger fish, but hopefully something big will be on that noodle. And I, B, I haven't figured out if how we're gonna get the noodle once well, the fish takes off of it. Problem. Especially because, if the noodle gets bit, it could just be a gator, and then you gotta go in there with the gator and grab oh, the Oh, to see if it is. Yeah, so that's, I'm glad you're noodling, not me. Best of luck to you though, I'm praying for you. We do have bait in there for one more noodle. We have two more noodles though, so we got the cast nets. We're gonna cast those guys in and see what's in this old mud pit. Got the old cast net. We're gonna try our little go real quick. There's a bunch of stuff moving over here in the water. Do the thing, do the thing. All right. I can still tell it's your first day, but you're getting better. Getting better. Getting better. What do you think? What do you think, think we got? I still don't think it's super deep, but. I don't think so either. Oh! oh! Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh is right. Oh my gosh. One, Look two, three, guy. four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Right Fourteen in one go. These might be walking catfish, bro. At least you are walking. This guy's gonna make his way back. Make it, brother. You're almost there. Come on. Oh, 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 oh he made it. Alright, we're gonna put these guys back. First toss, we got 14 freaking catfish and one little brim. So 15 fish. So now. B doesn't believe in my noodle over there. I believe we might be able to catch it. That noodle ain't got no action going on, Bubba. She's just sitting. She's waiting for the big one. All right, I'm going to throw this guy in and see if we can't get some more fish. I still haven't got the whole bite thing down. Saw that? You're probably getting dizzy. That's probably what it is. Hey. All right, ready? <laughs> just keep doing circles. Oh, oh, much better job, but you got a big old knot right there, man. Dang. Do you? We got 
<laughs> we got one. <laughs> much less uh what? much less of a haul than last Dad, time gum. one fish that's crazy <laughs> the difference between 10 foot of cast netting that was uh a fail <laughs> what the that suck yeah i wasn't gonna say it but since you said it now you said it <laughs> yeah, i gotta say it we got a few got a couple nasties oh a little mud actually puppies. you got a bunch of them oh Dude, they're like is that just what is full of these like might, He's the only guys that can survive out here, maybe. It might be. Look at him, dude. He's just straight walking. He's a little walking catfish. This guy's about to make it. Come on, buddy. You almost got it. Come on. Just give him a little help. I don't know, man. I thought I was expecting something way crazier. Maybe we try the other side of the bridge because that's got some lilies, got some sure enough fish in it. I don't know. Sure enough fish. <laughs> Sure enough, he's got him. <laughs> sure enough, he's got to have him. All right, let's go to the other side of the bridge. Oh! oh that was it. That was nice. Three, two, three, two, oh, well, you just pulled it off the bottom. You said dirty. Buzz, you got him so oh fired God. up over here. You got him fired up. Hurry, brother, hurry. Right. Hurry, man. You're, you're scared me. These catfish, they don't stick around. Oh, my God, dude. Look at them. They're everywhere. They're blowing up. Right there in the middle, bro. Here they are. Good. That's pretty good. Good one. All right, now just don't just jerk it. Just slide it. Yeah, just slide it. Okay. You definitely got a stick. Oh, you got the whole bush. Oh, God. Oh, oh, you got a bunch. You got a bunch. Oh, we got some. Oh, you got a whole bunch. Oh, we got some, boys. They're all the same catfish. How weird. Oh, this is, this might be a new record right here. <laughs> Oh, what is that? Nutri you got bar. a new bar. <laughs> I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. <laughs> and a nutri you them, bar. And a nutri -game bar. You of them <laughs> fell out. Look at this. Come here, little buddies. Little chicken nuggets. Oh. Ain't even a freaking nutri -game bar in there. Brandon might be right about the old noodle. I'm definitely right about the noodle. Ain't nothing eating that. Ain't nothing eat that. That little tilapia just. He was a trooper. Hey man. Hey man, brother. <laughs> there she is. Just throw a rock at it or something just in case. <laughs> throw that dirt clod right there. <laughs> throw dirt at it? Yeah, just throw it and try to get it to splash. See if it takes off. If it takes off, it's gotta be a gator probably. Watch we'll this. Just... <laughs> <laughs> I think you better get to stepping, brother. God, what if it's deep, bro? There's only one way to find out. No, 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 no. Go. Go. It's time. Oh crap. All right. Is it moving? I don't know, but I don't like the. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> oh, heck no. Oh, heck man. no, bro. <laughs> but a poor little tilapia on it. <laughs> Thank yeah. you, young brother. Thank you, sir. Well, boys and girls, cast netting tiny mud pits. Sucked. <laughs> <laughs> I honestly, I honestly think it was fun just seeing. I don't even know what those catfish are. It, honestly, if we wouldn't have came out here, we wouldn't have known what was in the water. There's fish. something big. There's in like there. two pound catfish for sure, and in some of the mud holes, there's gotta be. Yeah. Started this video. You, you know what you said to the people? What? You were gonna catch. Clean. You were gonna clean. You were gonna go get it. You just say, you know what? I'm sorry. <laughs> just start off your outro every time with, you know what? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry you had to watch this. Oh my god. Oh, look at the little. Those are freaking. Quail? Quails. quails. Yeah, yeah. Little quails. Oh, dude. Catch clean cook out here next time. You think they'll fly off? I don't know. I could probably get them with a water bottle. Let me try. I'm going to try to get them. Hit me in the head with a water bottle. Hit me in the head with a water bottle. There's one right here. Yep, yep. He's going to get them right here. He's going to get them. Ain't no way. Oh, shoot. Look, look, look. look. He's chasing them. Oh, I see him. Yeah. Ain't no way. Ain't no way. What? That is how you catch a quail. Hey, little buddy. How you doing?
<laughs> I can't believe that. That's crazy. <laughs> hey, you're still gonna get your catch cook. Catch clean, clean cook, baby. Goodness gracious. <laughs> I cannot believe it. Please tell me. Please tell me that GoPro on your head was recording. It wasn't. It was oh it. my God. Dang it. That's crazy. Hey, little buddy. All right. Well, we found a uh, little deer tracks. So, with Tristan's rate, that deer better watch out before he just hops <laughs> on his back. <laughs> Golly. How I did it, I don't know. All the help of, with Corey. But we're at their camp right now, the Nautical Bros camp. They have propane and they have a grill so we might be able to cook this it's it's good it's working, bro. no way it fired right up. it's been over a year i mean this oh. thing just sat out here it's been through two hurricanes we haven't been out the grill home. is on the grill is on and do you have seasonings yes this is the most redneck wild catch clean cook i've ever done that's dope we were I trying to catch it. fish <laughs> and cook fish it went from fish to Dude. Honestly. Quail. We're gonna get her cleaned up. We can't show that part, but <laughs> this is honestly just wild. This is absolutely wild. I did. I mean, bravo, <laughs> bravo. You pulled it off once again. I don't even know how you did that. This might be quite literally the most redneck thing I've ever seen in my life, and I've seen some redneck things. <laughs> Corey's over there. He ran over, got some seasoning from his camp. This catch, clean, and cook is happening quick. I'm about to clean this quail. I can't show that, obviously, but we'll show it when it's sitting on the grill. And then somehow we're going to try to let everybody have a little bit of a taste of this quail. We're at camp, nautical boys, and uh, we got the old quail breast and one leg. The other leg was kind of messed up. We're going to season them up. We don't have a lot of seasoning, but we're going to work with what we got. It's getting even more redneck, bro. <laughs> this is some uh, McDonald's salt. Oh, dang, son. And some Monterey steak seasoning from about 1983. Look, when you thought you were gonna have catfish <laughs> and you end up with that and this, salt this, and seasoning. This could turn into just something crazy, honestly. <laughs> <laughs> I love, look, 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 my favorite thing where you're like, something crazy. This is something. I don't know what to do with my hands. <laughs> we're gonna season her up, get her on the grill, and then everybody can have a little bite. <laughs> <laughs> Chill out, man. Damn, bro. That's all you need right there. That's, That's a lot of sodium. <laughs> Sound ASMR for real. <laughs> <laughs> that's it for about a. Ah, we'll throw it on the grill right now. Yep, that's good to go. <laughs> I've had other people's quail, but I've never had a quail that was literally running around about 15 minutes ago. This is fresh quail right here. It's fresh. You want to have that old, uh, this old two year old grill to about 450 degrees. <laughs> There we go. That's it right there. Yeah. Well, Let her sit. hold on. Can you open that again? Sweet. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, God, dude. Lee, this is the most redneck thing <laughs> I've ever done. I love it. You boys over here enjoying your Arby's. Oh, Arby's. You want a bite of this quail? Hey, yeah, I'll try that quail. <laughs> yeah. Don't get much pressure in that. This is wild, bro. This is honestly so wild. Caveman catch and cook. Yeah, For yeah. real. Caveman Goodness. Oh. It's almost done. <laughs> <laughs> it's literally almost done. Oh my gosh, it really is. You leaped like a panther. Dude, it was a I full don't... spread sprawl <laughs> like this. Something took over me. I don't know what happened. Just, we saw him and we took off. I literally watched him go from one side. He was like, ah, oh, the bird flew. And then he chased him over. Bird flew again, chased him over. Found the other bird. Then he just comes back holding it, something. I'm like, no, you did not. <laughs> no, you did not. I, don't I got him. It, it was wild. We I wish him, we had him pinned on both sides, and it was yeah. like, ready, three, two, <laughs> one, whack, 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 and then he came flying out the bush, and here comes Birdman. <laughs> I, <laughs> oh, oh I Panther. full full I jump. Mean, he had his legs together, arms like this, <laughs> and jumped from me to BJ on top of him. <laughs> yeah, we got him. That's how we got him. I wish we would have had it filmed, but you don't need this big of a spatula, but. <laughs> <laughs> They're pretty much done. Look at that little chicken leg, dude. It looks like chicken meat. Oh my goodness. You ready? I'm excited. I am I'm too, excited. honestly. All right, let's cut in and give everybody a little piece and see how it turns out. If this was a survival situation, this would all, all we would be able to spare. Everybody gets a nugget. Mm-hmm. 
Oh, everybody going? Okay, all right. Okay. That's good. Oh, wow. Oh. Mm-hmm. oh, wow. Dude. Okay. There's a vein in mine. <laughs> I can see a vein. <laughs> Other than that, it's actually really good. Boys? Uh, pretty good? I think yeah. we need to get some bigger <laughs> sticks and head back out. Yeah. We need some more. That McDonald's salt is pulling through. I can taste it. <laughs> <laughs> we were talking about having little catfish nuggets. Yep. <laughs> Ended up having quail nuggets. So. Did a little leg. Hmm. <laughs> it's the tiniest drumstick I've ever seen. <laughs> it's like a toothpick. You rolled some salami on. <laughs> That's what it looks like. There's a what, wishbone. Yep, wishbone. That's kind of crazy. All right. We wouldn't have been able to do it without each other. So let's see. Ready? Three, yep. two, one. No, you got it. <laughs> oh, you got it. Corey can't tell his wish or else it won't come true. So drop in the comments what you think Corey's wish was. <laughs> Wrong answers only. <laughs> Quail's pretty good. Yeah, it's the most unexpected catch and cook of all the history of YouTube. Most most redneck. When, most... You, when you thought you were going out to catch a catfish and, and you caught a quail not even a fish <laughs> <laughs> let alone an edible bird that concludes yeah. the most unexpected we're going deer hunting next <laughs> catch clean and cook that i've ever been a, been a hey. part of but wonderful successful mission. yeah honestly i want to thank b for this whole florida trip all the things that we've gotten to do it's been a blast i've been here for about two weeks made a bunch of videos florida series i hope you guys have been enjoying it as much as i have leave it a big thumbs up and comment what me and b should go do next or me and someone else should go well, do next well not me no way yeah well that's pretty much it thanks for coming along on these crazy videos i love you guys and as always what do you think who's your daddy <laughs> We're gonna need more rocks. <laughs> <laughs> Dang, all my big rocks down the little rocks. He's like, now everything's medium and micro. <laughs> no, nope. gotta make some big rocks. And that's when he was like, you know what? Dwayne Johnson. I'm gonna, no. <laughs> that's when he made Dwayne the Rock Johnson. He's like, this will solve everything. This is cute, everybody. Can you try? <laughs> <laughs> what the rock? He's like, wrong, wrong rock, wrong rock. There's some videos popping up right now on the left and right. You can subscribe if you want to. And the videos that are popping up are probably way better than this one. So try them out. See you later. <laughs>